Okay, so let's get started with uh, vertical addition and subtraction, booklet 7. So um, when my instructions say, if you need more tens, you have to ungroup 100 into 10 tens and move them into the tens column. The extra 10 tens will add with the tens already there. So looking at my problem, we're going to start with the number 1. We still have 1 tens equal to 10 ones and 100 equal to 10 tens. So I see that we have five hundreds, four tens, and three ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup one of the hundreds. So I'm going to circle my uh, hundred down there on the bottom. And so instead of one hundred, that is the same exact thing as ten tens. So I'm going to ungroup it and put it into my tens column like so. So now I'm going to, since I've added ten tens in there, I take away that hundred. So now I have four hundreds left. I now add the tens together. I initially started with four, so now I have fourteen, and I still have three ones, and that's how that's done. Moving down to the first one, they want me to ungroup one hundred into ten tens. So let's see what exactly what I have to start. Uh, it looks like I have three hundreds, three tens, and five ones. So what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to circle one hundred and convert that or ungroup that into 10 tens. So I put my arrow over and I put my 10 tens into the tens column. So now, getting rid of that hundred, it looks like I have two hundreds with uh, now 13 tens because I added all the tens in there and I still have five ones. Moving on to page 10, uh, the instructions say the first that we need to ungroup one ten into the ones column. And then second, we need to ungroup 100 into the tens column. All right. So I'm starting with five hundreds, six tens, and three ones. So I'm going to ungroup one ten into the ones place as ten ones. So I'm going to take one away from the tens, and basically taking one ten away is like adding ten ones at the same time. So six minus one is going to give me five, and I want to add ten into the ones column. So that's going to be three plus ten, which will give me thirteen. And I still have my 500s. So step two says ungroup 100 into the tens column. And so taking 100 away, or basically ungrouping 100, we're basically replacing it with 10 tens. It's the same thing, just transferring it. So I still have my 13 ones. Uh, I want to take one away from the hundreds, so that'll leave me with four. And then I want to add 10 into the um, tens place, so that I, that's going to be a 15. So I'm going to have 13 ones. 15 tens, and 4 hundreds. Let's move down to the uh, sample down here. So I'm going to start with uh, 8 hundreds, 0 tens, and 7 ones. Now to do step 1, we say borrow, we say uh, ungroup a 10 and put it into the ones column. Now we have 0 tens, so we can't do that. So our first step in this one is we have to ungroup 100 first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup 100 and add 10 tens. So 8 minus 1 will give me 7 hundreds. I now have 0 plus 10, so that's going to give me 10 tens. So I have 7 hundreds, 10 tens, and I still have my 7 ones. Now I can ungroup a 10 and put in 10 ones. So if I ungroup 1 10 and I add 10 ones, that's going to leave me with 17 ones, 9 tens now, and 7 hundreds. Okay, so looking here at page 11, uh, let's go ahead and get work with uh, number 3. So we have uh, 530 minus 482. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill in um, into our boxes here uh, the hundreds place, the tens place, and the ones place for both of those. So for 530, that's uh, 5 hundreds, 3 tens, and 0 ones. And for the bottom, we have uh, 4 hundreds, 8 tens, and 2 ones. So I look to do it in terms of subtraction. I look at the ones place. Zero minus two is what I would have to be doing. I can't do that, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do some ungrouping. So I look at the tens place first, and I'm like, okay, I've got three tens there. I can ungroup one of them and add 10 ones into the tens place. So I'm gonna do three minus one, and then I'm gonna add 10 into the ones place. So now I'm left with five hundreds, two tens, and now 10 ones. I can do 10 minus two but I can't do 
2 minus 8 in the tens place. So then I'm going to have to ungroup a 100 and make that 10 tens. So I'm going to take 1 away from the hundreds place and add 10 into the tens place. So now I'm left with 4 hundreds, 12 tens, and 10 ones. And I have 4 hundreds, 8 tens, and 2 ones down there. So now I can do my subtraction. So I'm going to subtract down. 10 minus 2, that's equal to 8 ones. I have 12 tens minus 8 tens, that's going to leave me with 4 tens. And then 4 minus 4 is just 0. So there's going to be 0 hundreds left over. So my final answer is going to be 48. Moving on to page 14, uh, let's go ahead and start with the standard algorithm on number 1. So we have 852 minus 65. So the first thing I do is I look at uh, 2 minus 5. Can I do any subtraction there yet? No. So I need to basically ungroup from my tens place. So I'm going to mark out that 5 and put a 4. And I'm going to put, I'm going to add 10 ones in there. And so I'm going to have, instead of 2, I'm now going to have 12. Um, I notice now I have 4 and 6 in my tens place. So I can't subtract that either. So I need to ungroup from the hundreds place and add 10 tens. So I'm going to subtract, I'm basically going to take 8 and make it down to 7. And instead of having 4, I've added 10 tens, so I'm now going to have 14. So now I can do my subtraction. I see 12 minus 5, that's going to give me a total of 7. And then I have 14 minus 6, that gives me a total of 8. And then the 7 just comes down because it's 7 minus 0, so there's nothing there. So my final answer is 787. Finally, on page 15, we have 809 minus 65. So again, I'm going to concentrate first on the, uh, on the ones place. I see 9 minus 5. Can I do that? Yes. You don't have to ungroup here. Because you can do 9 minus 5 without ungrouping. That's just 4. So now I look at my tens place. I see 0 minus 6. And now obviously, that cannot work. So I need to ungroup from my hundreds place. So 8. I want to ungroup 100, that's now going to knock it down to 7. Meaning I want to add 10 into my 10's place. So now I'm at 10 minus 6, that gives me a total of 4. And then the 7 again comes down, so that's going to be a total of 744.